Enter the Redmi Note 13 Pro 5G. This is a latest addition. No? So, nung unang lumabas siya, wala pang 5G. 4G lang nilabas. And now, meron na siya 5G. This one has a Snapdragon 7 S Gen 2 na processor. AMOLED display na may flicker-free na certification. 200 MP ang na main camera sensor. Plus, 5,100 mAh of battery with 67 watts na charging support. Ang ganang 8256 is priced at 16999 And ang ganang 12.5 is priced at 18999 Kamusta naman ka Formats. Pag usapan natin. Now, undeniably, this one looks a little bit more of a iPhone finish. Flat na flat ang kanyang likod. Almost flat na flat din ang kanyang side. Kunting curve lang dito sa side edges. But overall, it kind of resembles another iPhone. But don't you worry, itong phone na ito, hindi niya kaya talunin ng iPhone. One thing na napansin ko dito sa kanya is yung kanyang camera above, which is quite big. So once in lapag mo siya sa table, medyo magwawabol na lang siya. Itong color tawag sa kanya is Aurora Purple, but it looks a little bit pale. The same na sinabi ko rin sa Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G. Yung kanyang form factor is good. Saktuhan na sa aking kamay. Maganda ang kanyang grip. And definitely, I like the feel of this phone. Matte finish yung kanyang likod, so definitely, walang fingerprint smudges. So, since sinabi ko naman, this one has a 7S Gen 2 ni Snapdragon inside this one. 589,000 points lang nakuha na sa Antutu Benchmark. 794 loop score with a stability of 87%. Nag-throttle siya to 86% ng kanyang maximum performance with this graph. Ito naman ang score na dito sa Geekbench. And ito naman ang score na sa Geekbench sa CPU benchmarking. Now, one thing that you should like about itong phone na ito is quite thin ang kanyang mga bezels which I kind of like naman but yung kanyang console is not that small. Meron sa 6.67 inch na AMOLED display na may Corning Gorilla Glass Victus ang kanyang protection up front. It supports up to 120Hz of screen refresh rate, 1,800 nits ang kanyang maximum brightness. Meron siya 1,920 na PWM dimming for flicker-free na protection sa inyong mata. So if you're the type of person na mahilig sa social media, perfect na perfect sa inyo itong phone na ito dahil scrolling on this one. Protected na yung mata plus smooth pa ang transition niya dahil sa kanyang 120Hz of screen refresh rate. So scrolling on shorts and reels is definitely fast. Now, if you're watching mga videos dito sa Netflix and YouTube, good news, meron siya level 1 na Wi-Fi security level and you can watch all of your favorite shows dito in HD. The viewing experience dito is definitely good. I have no problem with it. Punchy ang kanyang colors and the black is definitely blacker. Now, kanyang loudspeaker dito sa lalim, meron siyang limang butas and meron siyang tatlong butas dito sa ibabaw. And good news sa mga music lover, this one still supports the audio jack. So, try lang natin, no? isaga natin ang sounds, pakinggan lang natin to. Okay, ang sound niya is as good as the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G and it's quite loud but if you want better na immersive experience, you can always buy a headphone like this, a QCY-H3. Now, phone na ito is equipped with a 5,100 mAh of battery supporting up to 67 watts of fast charging. Charging from 0 to 100 takes around mga 1 hour to complete charging. And the battery is quite good. Dahil sa 7S Gen 2, it's a more of a battery efficient chip. So, lasting you for 2 days is definitely no problem on this phone. Basta normal usage. Now, tinay naman natin mag-game dito sa phone na ito. I played Farlight 84 and Call of Duty Mobile. These are the maximum graphical settings sa kaya natin set. And sa Call of Duty Mobile, the game is good. Smooth naman ang transition niya. I have no problem with it. And one thing na mapapansin mo sa kanya dito is okay na okay ang kanyang screen, no? Saktong-saktuhan lang for me to play the game Call of Duty Mobile. And the touch response is quite fast as well. Pagdating naman sa Farlight 84, Diyan, medyo umiba konti ang paningin ko dito sa gaming sa phone na ito. Medyo a little bit laggy siya kasi sinagad dati yung kanang graphical settings. So, medyo a little bit sluggish. Mapapansin mo mga frame drops along the way. It's no doubt kasi, of course, 7S Gen 2 is not a heavy gaming chip. And ang init na ito is around mga 48 to 49 degrees Celsius pag after 1 hour mo nilalaro itong game na ito. 
Na pag-usapan na natin ang kanyang camera sensors. This one has a 200 MP na main camera sensor with OIS, 8 MP na ultra wide camera, and of course a 2 MP na macro lens. It can shoot up to 4K in 30, and ang kanyang harap is a 16 MP na main camera sensor, which can shoot up to 1080p and 60 FPS. Now guys, pag-usapan natin some outdoor shots na nakuha natin. And we'll start off with this rock na nakukuha natin almost every single video dito sa ating channel. And makita natin na, the rock looks okay. But pag tinignan mo siya mabuti on zoom in, it looks to be a little bit saturated. And medyo nalolos konti ang kanyang details. Not too much on the details, but... It's still good. And looking at another shot dito, you can see the mention na uh, lighten out konte ang mga vines dito. But overall, this shot is not so bad. Now taking a look dito sa arc ng Chinatown, it looks good and pretty much good details makita natin dito sa arco. Now we're playing with the ultra wide lens. This is how it looks like pag naka ultra wide shot. Then this is a normal shot. This one is a two time zoom shot, and this one is a four time zoom shot. Then we zoom it sa four time zoom. Medyo nalalas konti ang kanyang details but it's still good and usable. Now one thing that you should notice is that iba ang kanyang color pagdating sa ultra wide lens and ang kanyang normal lens. Kita natin medyo darker blue kanyang sky dito and this one is a lighter blue. And pag kuha natin dito sa Jollibee, you would see na okay na okay naman ang color ni Jollibee dito. And yeah, it looks nice and matingkat ang kanyang pagka-red. And pag kinuha natin yung shot dito sa ilalim yung pusa na tutulog, well, the details are pretty much preserved. Now, kung mahilig ka naman sa food photography, itong camera na ito is okay but medyo nanilaw siya ng konti. Maybe nag-adjust konti ang kanyang AI so medyo nanilaw ang mga food shot. But overall, the quality is looking good. And this one is another one, ang ramen shot na ito. And you see all of the uh, oil dito, mga details, really nice and rich. And taking in some apparel shot dito sa labang Uniqlo, you'll see all of the nice color production dito sa kanyang camera. As well as some of these more apparel shots like this one. And nilaro din naman natin kanyang ultra wide lens dito sa labang uh, Uniqlo. You'll see this shot. Then this is a normal shot. This is a 2 times zoom shot and this is a 4 times zoom shot. Na kung mahili ka naman sa night photography, you really get some nice detailed shot dito using this camera. And makita natin yung shakies dito sa likod is pretty okay. Not the best but it's pretty decent. And looking at this shot, ang kanyang outdoor shot, some of the selfies are really nice and taken really good uh, against the light and going with the light. Okay na okay na mga shots ko. And medyo, pansin natin, medyo naninilim na ng konti pagdating sa low light shot. But everything seems fine pag medyo mailaw on indoor. And taking a video using ang kanyang front-facing camera, the camera quality is not bad but medyo shaky nga lang talaga siya. Now, if you're using the rear camera, taking it on 4K, well, honestly, it's good. Really good. And smooth and stable ang kanyang camera. That's as far as I can say, this kanyang camera, not bad. You can use this as your vlogging camera. Now, one bonus feature na gusto ko pakita lang sa inyo dito is ang kanyang AI na pinagmamalaki ni Samsung na meron sa S24 Ultra. It's also present here dito sa phone ni Redmi. So, just make a cutout dito. Tira natin ah, pag i-move mo tong picture na ito, Uh, just like any other shots na pwede natin galawin ang kanyang subject, it's very easy to use. And yeah, mumove ko lang siya dito. Let's say, gusto ko i-move siya dito. Yeah. Kita mo, if you fill out ang AI ang dito, yung, yung spot na ito, no? which makes it really cool. No? I mean, yeah, this is the power of AI. Na meron sa S24 Ultra and also present in the Redmi Note 13 Pro 5G. Now guys, overall itong phone na ito, I feel good about this one. Feel ko na this phone is priced just right for $16,999 and you might get some discount during mga sale. Yung specs niya is saktohan lang. The camera is not so bad and not the very best na ino-offer ni Redmi kasi meron siyang Pro Plus. But this one, I would say na okay na okay na ang camera performance na itong phone na ito. And you can get some good casual gaming as well on this phone, not the heaviest gaming nga lang. So if you want to check out kung saan nyo pwede mabili itong phone na ito, I'll be linking on the description box below and if you like this video don't forget to like and of course subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on the next one and so i'm para sa and you're watching gadget sidekick What's up? like and subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that notification bell for one of my latest uploads click the dito and for one of my popular uploads click here